Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's Monday, the 4th of April. We have got new mods. We haven't got any updates today. Uh, we do, though, have um, a load of Holmer Terror stuff has been dropped by Giants. Uh, so we'll get into that later on. But in front of me, we have got a couple of Auger Wagons. These are the Stara Ninja 24,000 and 40,000 by Agro Tonio, 15.98 megabytes download, five slots each, 24,000 litre, 40,000 litre, says so right on the side, look. Um, there's a few tyre options on these. They are auger wagons, so they do the regular auger wagon crop types plus seed and fertiliser. Um, they don't have rear trailer hitches, so you can't link them together. Big old chunky units. Pipes unfold, which we'll have a look at in just a moment. Uh, you will find them. Under tools and auger wagons on the end there. 48 grand. Slot can come down to one for the 24,000 litre. 150 horsepower required. 61 grand for the 40,000 litre. Doesn't actually give a horsepower requirement for the 40,000. Maybe a little bit more. Should be too much more. Um, options available. And it's the same on both. We've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Vredestein, BKT, and back again, we've got standard, inverted, default, default, default. Um, then we've got standard two, inverted, default two. I don't think they've all got a second one. Uh, Michelin standard and standard two. Fredestein standard, inverted, back to standard. BKT standard, inverted, default, back to standard. Yes, yeah, so it's only the uh, Trelleborg that's got the second set of standards on top. Um, and this is the same options on the Ninja 4000. So we'll hook up to it. And same, it's the same on the other one as well with regard to pipe, etc. It says <laughs> completely missing the trailer hitch. Uh, so pipe out. Cover open. Very nicely detailed, very nicely made. The way the pipe all comes into the auger to the bottom, and you know, they, they're absolutely bang on aren't they uh do we have yes we do uh, right stick l1 r1 and right stick side to side why is that not doing anything I, th I thought the nozzle moved on that oh no it's the ladder i'm thinking why is the nozzle not moving it's because we've got some other augers that's why i was like hang on that's weird um the only adjustment on these is the ladder so if we do that the ladder folds away do that ladder opens up that's it for the Stara Revoke Ninja 24,000 and 40,000 by Agro Tonio. Next, I have a small crush. These. Uh, this is the CR600. It's by Hoffy. These are mini crushes for all intents and purposes. Uh, 5.66 megabytes download, eight slots on console. Uh, what it will do in its standard form the electric jaw crusher is ideal to process small to medium rocks you put your rocks in the top it turns it into lime how it comes there are a few different options on this as well though but it does say due to the adjustable mill you can turn sugar beet into chopped beet uh, you can put bales in and it will turn um, a straw bale into just loose product loose straw or you can put wood in and get wood chips out which is pretty cool now these aren't placeables either these are completely movable which is pretty impressive too. We'll have a look in here first because I I thought initially, uh, where were they under? Is it miscellaneous? I think it was miscellaneous. Yeah, I thought it'd be under placeables, under build mode, but it's not. It's here under tools and miscellaneous. Looks like that. Let's zoom out a little bit. Uh, we can have standard box creation so whatever it is you're chopping or shredding or you know wood chipping it will create it will create a box and into that box will go whatever it is you're creating you can have belt box creation and belt so it will either come out the bottom and you can have your own auger underneath it going into something if you have it in standard mode box creation when it comes out the bottom it will create a box that appears out and just directly underneath it you can go for belt which will put wherever it is you're doing out of on the belt and you can put a trailer underneath that or box creation and belt which will put it up the belt and into a box at the end so there's a few different options uh main color we can change to one of those four design color any of those well that's a bit garish isn't it uh and then conveyor belt you know conveyor belt color let's go with uh, 
don't know why I always do this <laughs> purple. There we go. <laughs> so you can see them all. Um, it says 1,000 litre. I think it's the capacity of the hopper, depending on what you put in it, of course. Now, as far as transport goes, you may wonder, well, okay, that's wonderful. How am I supposed to transport this? Well, you actually get into the vehicle. L1, top left-hand corner, transport position, press X, and it does that. Folds it away. Now, if you can get a forklift under it, on it, something on there, see the old uh, crushing bits on the inside. But what I did, and again, there's all different ways around it. It's up to you. I grabbed this very useful tool that I did a video on a while back. Um, the big bag handler. It was part of a it looks the John Deere bag handler. Um, and it worked perfectly with this. There was a little bit of movement. Um, do that. Lift it up. And you can, you, this will go on to flatbeds, low loaders, bale trailers, anything you want. And it will strap down for transport as well, which makes it pretty handy. Handy, not Andy. It's pretty handy, that. Pretty handy. Um, so, I think I went for one with box creation, which is that one. As you can see, I already did some wood chips to test it. And then this one, I just did pipe, but not box creation. So do that. Um, open cover does that and puts a little shoot down onto the um, conveyor belt. What I'm going to do, I think, is just to show you the one without box creation. Then I'll move the box out of the way and show you one with box creation. Like I say, you can have with the pipe, if you do box creation without the pipe, it just puts a box underneath and then you have to come along with something and move it. Obviously, the um, auger's not very big. Or not, not I say not very big. It doesn't go up very high. So what you've got to allow for is the fact that if you want to, if you've got very high trailers, you're better off going without belt, um, and then you can put your own auger underneath the centre. I'm making an absolute hash of this. I? Let's just go with that, shall we? <laughs> just for the time being. Um, so, I'm not sure if I have to turn this on or not, because the wood chip ones seem to work without me turning it on. But we'll we'll, um, we'll see. I've got some sugar bit in here. There we go. So sugar bit in. Into the vehicle. Uh, I'm sure it's there you go, start engine. Start overloading. I mean, it's going to the trailer. I didn't quite put the trailer in the right position. So, taking our sugar beet, turn it into sugar beet cut. And while that's going, obviously it's got a thousand litre capacity. You can keep topping it up, or you know, it may be a little bit fiddly, but I just think it's just a cool little thing. So, so this one, what we're going to do? Let's just move the box out of the way. Now, again, your mind starts doing all sorts of weird things you think oh I wonder if you know um, there you go yes this one for some reason is going automatically it's taking the wood the wood that was in it and turn it into wood chips each box is a thousand litres if you go down the route of having boxes boxes of wood chip that's something a little bit different um, we're going to there how much have we got left in it I'm not sure I'm a bit of Oh, so close. <laughs> can I climb up on the side of it? Now, obviously, you can use uh, all sorts of things for getting your logs into it if you're going to do logs. Um, I did think, as I say, about your mind going a little bit wild. If you've got an entire tree and had it in a grab and just held it directly over the top and just gradually fed it in that way, whether it would work, I don't know, I guess so. Obviously, these can't be moved by hand. They're 630 kilos. Um, but yeah, now, then I say they'll do bales as well, and they'll turn stone into lime, which is what they're intended for. This is something a bit different, something a bit quirky. Close cover, back into transport petition, and off you go somewhere else. Um, yeah, it's cool. That's the CR600 by Hoffy. Uh, moving on from there. We have got this. This is the Rausch MDS. Again, my handwriting's terrible. MDS 19.1. This is a fertilizer or lime spreader. 
It's 3.14 megabytes download, four slots on console. It's by Shardy. Now it does say when you go to buy it that it's got a working width of 18 meters. When I picked it up, it says 42. So I don't know if the 18 meters is a remnant from the previous version, but it's been kind of ported over. But I suppose the best thing to do now is, yeah, top left 42 meters, it says there. Let's turn it on. That's 42 meters. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely 42 metres. And at 42 metres, you are going to get through your line at a colossal rate, as you can see. Um, but it is doing 42 metres, and you can adjust that down L1 and... Um, sorry, yeah, L1 and R3. You can bring that all the way down. It increments down to 15 metres if you want. So, yeah, it will do 42 metres, which is pretty impressive. Uh, you'll find this... Under fertiliser spreaders on the end there. Yeah, it says 18 metres there as well. Interesting. That's only 6,500. It's not very big, obviously, as you've just seen. Uh, you can have it standard 900 litres with an extension 1,500. There's no cover on this. Design, there's a, when I say there's no cover, no cover on the top. You can have covers that kind of protect the discs, the flinging discs on the bottom. And then main colour, we've got various different shades of kind of reddy, orange, rust, um, versions um yeah so i think do lime or fertilizer 1500 liters out to 42 meters spread width lovely that's by shardy uh next we've got these i'm gonna need that tractor i've just realized um doesn't matter but this is the pshk5 pack it's by wd mods 16.25 megabytes download uh, it's five slots for this plough, which is three metres wide, and it's eight slots for this plough, which is also three metres wide, but comes with fertiliser tanks. So you can plough and fertilise at the same time. Again, you know how I feel about things that are different. I don't recall coming across something like this before. I'm racking my brains, on console anyway, um, a plough that fertilises. I know we've had some that do it as a kind of... A, a trick a clever you know as you plow it does but this has actually got fertilizer tanks on it whereas that one will act as just a plow on its own these you'll find under plows 15 grand for the standard one which is 180 horsepower required we're at seven miles now 180 horsepower required for the other one 25 grand because you've got the fertilizer Attached on there, you have standard or universal mold boards, which is the same on this one standard or universal mold boards. There's no color options or anything like that. Uh, let me just go and grab the tractor. So, the standard one, lower the plow, and off we go. Now, because this has got the um, say the sort of um, what's the word for it? And mine's gone blank. It's like the tines on the back, isn't it? It's like, like you're having a grass harrow, that kind of thing. Um, so it is ploughing, but it looks like it's cultivating because it has done the ploughing, but it's then levelling it off afterwards. The seedbed is levelling in the standard mode. And then in the other mode... I'm not sure if we need to turn this on. We do. Lower plough. Turn on plough. There we go. As we go in, bottom right. Our fertiliser is going down. See the bars rotating? It's metering out the fertiliser down those pipes, down at the bottom, as we plough. We just need a bigger one, like an eight, nine metre one of those that fertilises while you go as well. Have a little fertiliser on the tank, a fertiliser, a fertiliser tank on the front, and you're absolutely sorted. I love that. I think that's so clever. And just like I say, something a bit different. Very cool. These will create fields as well. Did I say that? You can create fields. Two extend fields, create your own, however you want to go about it. The PSHK5 pack by WD Mods. Moving on from there, we have these, also very cool. The MAN TGS Flegel Agro Truck by HR Forst and Fazoigabel. 17.59 megabytes download, 21 slots on console. Um, we have got a couple of options on these. We have got a manure spreading back now this is the back is set you can't take the back off and use other backs on it the back is set but you can have it as a muck spreader or a regular trailer um, for 
well, delivering whatever you want to deliver. So a few different options on these. As you can see, this one's pretty plain on the front. And I've gone for the standard configuration. This one, we've got ball bars, we've got lights, we've got a, a chip sort of protection for the windscreen in the front there as well. I really do like the look of that. <laughs> I think it looks absolutely brilliant. But then HR Forced and Fazogba, when they bring out a lot of their lorry mods and stuff for forestry and stuff, they all look absolutely fantastic. Anyway, uh, you'll find it under trucks. Just there, 215 grand for the base model. Slot count will come down uh, from, what did I say it was? 21, uh, down to one. Options available, we have it standard. So that's how it comes, standard as a regular um, lorry, 35,500 litres. Or we can have a muck spreader, 26,000 litres. But it doesn't say what the spread width is, so we'll have to check that. Uh, then we have got the option of uh, Nokian Vragestein, or oh, just Nokian Vragestein. That's what it was. Again, a few vehicles today. And the Nokian, we've got the TR12, the TR12, TR12s, and Ground Kings. And then under Vredestein, we've got Flotation Track, but there's no other options under Vredestein, just the Flotation Track. Uh, windscreen Guard, yes or no. Then we've got Roof Bar, yes. Or with lights, so you can have beacons on it, or with lights as well. And then we've got Ball Bar, no. Yes, again, with lights added on if you want. Then engine setup is where things get a bit more interesting. We've got this, this comes down to gearing. Uh, I think gear ratios is what is the difference between the two. We've got standard A at 500 horsepower, stage 1A at 620 horsepower, stage 2A at 800 horsepower. Then it goes to a standard M, which is 500 horsepower, standard stage 1M, 620, and stage 2M at 800. As far as I can tell, the difference between the two of those is. Um, it's gearing as well as the fact obviously a and m automatic and manual but yeah um cabin color anything on this palette and there's a whole load to choose from like so uh body color changes the back rim color we have got a polished metal and a chrome at the start and then a whole range of other things as well why do i do this Let's stick with the chrome, the license plate option two. I've got one of each. Let's hop in, start it up. Does sound nice. Horn is brilliant. Lights. Now, I went for the light option on the bull bars as well and the top lights. Now, this is more obvious from inside. Beacons on this one as well. If we go inside and look out, inside, very nice detailed. Wing mirrors all doing their thing. Let's do lights like that, then put them on full beam. <laughs> That's crazy lighting. Absolutely crazy. But brilliant as well at the same time. Uh, so I've got this as in muck spreader configuration. Notice as you reverse, your hazard lights flash automatically. You don't do anything about that. That's when you reverse, they will do that. Let's get over one time if we're going to get an idea, a rough idea for the spread width. We need to unfold the truck first for muck spreading opens that up turn it on okay so if the other one's 42 meters what we're we looking at 18 maybe it's 18 it's more than 12 isn't it possibly so yeah maybe 18 meters muck spreading that's pretty cool great animation the steam off the manure there as well and then the other version that i got in the uh, the standard crop delivery form But very nice indeed. Oh, actually, uh, which one of these? Does this one do it? Hang on. It does. So L1 and right stick up and down does that. So I think it does, it, does that do another one as well. So if you were using this for, I don't know, chaffing or something like that, if you were going alongside the forage harvester, you can raise and lower that as well, which will put the chaff in. That would depend on how you're going about doing it. So it does do that as well. But yeah, rear steer, axle as well, very nice looking mod, something a bit different again with the, the muck spreading back on that as well. The MAN TGS Fliegel Agro Truck by HR Forst und Fahrzeugbaus. Um, apologies if I've missed anything off of that, I don't think I have. Which brings me on to this, now this is the last of the normal mods I'm going to say for today, and then we move on to the ones that have been released by Giants. 
This is the Lizard Haymaster. This is by Blendart and Kolchosnik Jr. Uh, this is 5.82 megabytes download, four slots on console. It is a bale trailer, four round bales, as you can see. Um, it's very cool, and I think I've done something silly because I was getting overexcited. This says it will hold 20 bales, um, and it will hold 10 each side. I put a few on. The other thing I did find as well, you can put them on from the side, but if you put it on from the end, you put one on, and then you put the next one behind it and kind of push it forward, they slide very nicely. Sometimes you get these sorts of trailers and they catch, and, and they don't, it doesn't really like it very much. It worked really well. So then I thought straight away, oh, well, if it will do 20, because we could put a, a, a row across the top, we could get 30 on there, couldn't we? Of course we could. Um, but the unloading is where things might it might not work. Now, the other thing about this is this is a gooseneck. So this will hook onto anything, the standard in-game pickups, although they don't have the gooseneck there, when you back up it will appear. And there are a few other different pickups, the 82 Studio one, and uh, there's a few other different ones that have a gooseneck option. Um, so you can, you can hook it up, you yeah. know in a gooseneck style. Uh, this you'll find under tools and where are we? Bail loaders. 20,800. We can change the main colour to anything on that palette. Room colour. We've got a white, silver, black, chrome and then an uh, whatever else was on that palette. There's a load of other stuff on that palette as well. I always tend to go for metallics for, for hubs. I don't know why Metallics or black? I've never really gone for coloured hubs. Never been that kind of guy. But you can if you want to. Of course you can. Uh, so, here's the thing. This is not an auto-load trailer. If you're noticing as well, frame rate drops or um, lag, I think it's something to do with the Holmer stuff. Because I've been setting this whole thing up and I was fine until I grabbed the last couple of mods and when I grabbed the last couple of mods to check them and bring the, bring the rest of the gear out I started getting horrible lag and frame rate problems um, so I'm assuming it's one of those that's causing it anyway we do have straps on the full length you can do from in cab or you can do manually as well if we undo those pick up packs there we have got um, a couple of options here so if I do L1 sorry, R1 and right stick up and down, we can adjust the height of it so we get it level with whatever's towing it, which is great. Uh, we then, under L1, it says unfold tipper. Now, unfold tipper, now it didn't do this when I was up at the top. That's really annoying. There's a catch on there that when I unfold tipper, oh, so that's really annoying me. L1 and X, you see the handle winding at the back? It releases some clamps. When it releases the clamps, I then press L1, you get these options. These options are for unloading, and this is where it's going to go horribly wrong now. Because I thought, oh, that'd be cool. L1 and right stick side to side tips that side. Oh, stop it. Like that. And I thought the bales will drop onto the thing, but they're not. They're going to drop down the gap, aren't they? Maybe they won't. You know what? It might just work. <gasps> so you can carry, you can definitely carry 30. There you go. You have my seal literal seal of approval so that'll do that push those out a little bit and then up and down does that side for unloading like i say it's not it's not an auto load but manual load and you can you can come in from the sides and put the bells on or like i did push them on from the back and slide them on and i like it i like the way it unloads i like the the way it folds all of it i think it's brilliant it's very long though you might have trouble if you're trying to use this um on maps with fences and gates and stuff like that you might have a few problems but there you go that's the lizard haymaster by blendart and kolchosnik jr so next up all, all the rest of these mods are all by giants so i won't say that again now they're all by giants all the rest of these first of these is that is really annoying me that's terrible that lag blimey um it's the new holland 8340 11.17 megabytes download, seven slots on console. You'll find it under small tractors. Seventy-nine grand slot count will come down from seven to one. Options available on this: we've got Trelleborg, Michelin, Continental, Mitus, Big AT, Vredestein, Knockins. Knockins are just those communals. Communals. Trelleborg. We've got standard wheel weights, wides, wide and weights, narrows. Rear twin, twin, 
back to standard. Now, the tyre manufacturers that normally do your wides, is it Mitis and BKT, don't have all of those options, and the other ones do. Uh, so again, I'm not going to say them all out loud, but if we go to Michelin... Continental, Midas, BKT, Friedenstein, and then the knock-ins, and then we're back to Trellaborg again. There's a license plate option on there as well. It's a nice looking tractor, it's not too expensive. I didn't even say what the horsepower was, did I? I'm so sorry. It's 125 horsepower. So not a bad price actually. It's 79 grand in this base variant for 124 125 horsepower. Lights. No doors or windows or anything that open. Interior looks like this. There we go. The New Holland 8340. Uh, next we have got well, all the rest of it is all Holmer. It's all Holmer gear. Um, we have got the Holmer Terra Felis 3 Evo. Um, this one is 26.39 megabytes download, 14 slots on console. Now, I've always kind of stayed, steered clear of them. I think I might have used them once on Goldcrest Valley. Um, these will only pick up Sugar Beet. Um, In-game, we've already got the Roper Mouse 5, I think it is that does the same thing. It's an incredibly awesome piece of equipment. So on farms that do a lot of sugar beet work, if the harvesters are doing the sugar beet harvesting and then they dump it by the side of the field, so you have big piles of this by the side of the field, this comes along, picks it all up, and it has an all go, uh, well, it has belts and stuff. When it all opens up, you'll see, and then that will then load into trailers as well. If you're not directly loading into trailers with your harvesters, it depends how you're going about it. Um, I've always really kind of thought it'd be cool to have one of these that does all different sort of materials, but it does only do sugar beet. So if we go to our beet technology, you'll see, yeah, the Roper Mouse 5 is there, 369 grand, 21 slots. This is 14 slots, so a little bit less. Um, also, that's 369 grand stuff, this is 325, which is pretty good. That does have a pickup of 10.2 metres, where this is 9.7. So it's a little bit smaller in that respect, but it is a little bit cheaper and less on the slot count. There are no options available, you get it just like that. But what is cool, if you haven't used one of these or seen one of these, um, just watch, because <laughs> it's brilliant. Unfold. That would be a good idea, start the engine first. Unfold. They are astoundingly cool bits of kit. Please tell me I put that trailer in the right place. Oh, I'm just off. But that's all right. Now, you might notice that the um, belts are out that side. This side, there's a weight. The weight comes out and counterbalances the arm. So whichever way you put your arm, it will counterbalance. Now, we also look in top left. We've got control group feeder and control group pipe. Under control group pipe, L1 and right stick side to side does that. And as you can see, as it's moving one way, the weights move the other way. So if I was going to put it over the trailer, I would do that. We can raise and lower it depending on the height of the trailer or whatever you're going to put it into. So that does that. But also from in cab, if I'm sitting there looking forward, as I do that, my seat moves me so I can follow the head of that belt, which is pretty cool. Now, the other option then is control group feeder, which is the front, L1, and right stick side to side. Now, this is the feeder. You don't necessarily have to use this in game. We can go side to side, up and down. Uh, one of these goes... There we go. It brings it out. 
you can raise and lower it and what that's supposed to do is that kind of scoops the sugar beet into the, to the feeder to bring it in like I say you don't have to use that if you don't want to so what I'll do now is let's lower the loading vehicle which brings that down let's turn on the loading vehicle so that now is picking up the sugar beet puts onto the belt runs right the way through up onto the back belt but it's not doing anything yet because I'm not over a trailer so what I need to do is switch then to pipe let's move it over the trailer do that and we should then do start overloading and away we go so it's picking the sugar beet up off the ground it's going right the way through it's not a bad rate of pickup as well along the belts up into there into the trailer and away you go it's a fantastic bit of kit it's incredible but I say I think it's unfortunately it's one of those things that unless you do a lot of sugar beet work it's one of those things you're not going to necessarily use very much I wouldn't have thought it depends you know what kind of what kind of thing you generally do but for, even if there was if you needed potatoes and sugar beet maybe that maybe might be a little different but anyway it's how it is in the real world so that's how it is so that's the Terra Felis or Felis 3 Evo um, next we've got the Holmer Terra DOS T440 now again, I think we've got the T430, is it? Um, we've got more roper gear than Holmer. I think that's why we're getting the Holmer stuff today. Um, so this is the larger um, version of the Holmer Terra DOS. Um, this will do sugar beet harvesting. The great thing about this is it's a slightly larger tank to the roper, and it's got a larger header. This has got the HR12 header, which is a 5.4 metre, and I think the largest of the ropers is a 4 metre header. Also comes with a trailer two um this is 32.54 megabytes download 15 slots for the harvester itself it is nine slots for the 5.4 meter header and three slots for the header trailer it's a beast it's huge it's amazing uh, this is the older version because the newer version is the we're going to have a look now actually because my mind's blanked <laughs> i saw one the Rexor. So the newer version is the Rexor, but the Rexor only has, um, how wide is the header on the Rexor? I can't remember now. It's not very big. Doesn't say that, does it? Am I being blind? Anyway, regardless of that. So the Ropa 6 is its kind of main rival, if you want to call it that. Um, that's got a 43,000 litre tank, 499 grand. If we go across then to the Terra DOS T440, 495 grand, a little bit cheaper, larger tank, 45,000 litres, um, not by, by much, you're talking 2,000 litres, but it is a little bit bigger. And like I say, the header for the Tiger 6 is only 4 metres, where, the, where this one is a 5.4. Options on this, we've got Michelin, Trelleborg, Mitas, BKT, back again. There's no options within those, you just get, uh, oh, actually saying that, do one of those light up? No, they're all just like, and a licence plate option. Um, I was thinking of, must have been a modded version that came out. We had the Terados T430, didn't we, a while back? Which I think was the kind of equivalent of the Roper Panther 2. It was just a smaller version. But that, I think, must have been a mod. Maybe I was dreaming it. Um, if we go to our tools, sorry. And we go to our Sugar Beat, which is Beat Technology. Uh, so, yeah, the Roper RRXL945. Yeah, four meters wide. If we go along to the new HR12, 106 grand is a bit, little bit more expensive, uh, but it's 5.4 meters. So, say it will make your sugar beet harvest a lot quicker, but it will make them quicker. Uh, and then we've got the header as well under header trailers. On the very end, there, the HR12 header trailer is 12 grand. Um, right, let's hop in. Let's turn it up. Now, we do have the option on this for. Um, at the moment, it's on all-wheel steer. I'm not a big fan of the all-wheel steer because it still has quite a turning circle on the all-wheel steer. I've got the trailer attached on the back with the header on it. So what I'm going to do is disconnect that and I'll show you the other options. So under our steering, we've got toggle steering mode. All-wheel steer, this is the one I like turn steering because the whole cab then turns. And it makes it a much better turning circle if you go for all-wheel uh, cab turning as well. But you do have crab steer left, crab steer right. When the crab steer left comes on, you get that bar that protects across that side. You do it the other way, the bar comes out that side, it switches to your crab steering, which is generally speaking how they will go when they're harvesting. 
um, because it keeps the back and the wheels and stuff away um, from everything you're actually harvesting so you don't trample everything helps with compaction and that kind of thing as well so what we're going to do is put that back to turn steering uh, unfolding is done like that so it opens up in that lag is annoying me and the header is rather big unfold the header Could have done with this one, did with big sugar beet harvest on Calmston. Um, so that's the harvester, pipe out 45,000 litre capacity. Very, very nice indeed. The Homer Terra 440, Terra DOS 440 by Giants. All these, look. It's all the, the moving parts, all the stuff again. I've said this before and I keep saying it when we do mod reviews. The things you kind of take for granted after a while when you start doing stuff, you just get into I need to do my sugar beet harvest and you don't really pay attention. But fantastic, right? Turn that off, I'm gonna leave that as it is for the time being, right? Which brings me on to let's say the last of the mods. Um, this is the Holmer pack. 135.39 megabytes download. It comes with all of this. Uh, we have the Holmer Terra variant. So we've got the Holmer Terra variant 435 and the Holmer Terra var variant 585. Um, unfortunately, the same as previous versions, again, same as the real world. I think the real world, I'm not sure if these backs are um, not disposable, but um, detachable is the word I'm looking for. The Terra variant 435 has got a 16,000 litre slurry tank on the back of it. So unfortunately that can only be used for slurrying, digestate or slurry. 16,000 litre tank, it doesn't have a spread width of its own. It does have a three point link on the back, so it will require uh, another attachment. So something else that will spread slurry needs to go on the back of it, whether it be uh, uh, drip hoses, drag hoses, whether it be cultivators, whatever it might be. And when they attach on the back, the hoses will attach and it's all very lovely. It does, it's a fantastic looking bit of kit. I, was it FS17? I'm trying to think when I first, we didn't have these on 15, did we? I'm trying to think. Because it wasn't overly expensive and the horsepower you got on it, because it's got this bit on the back here, three point link, you could use it as a tractor. So whilst it was versatile to have all the different backs on it as well, this would still it'll pull a seeder, it'll pull a planter, it'll pull a cultivator. So if you wanted the kind of jack of all trades, it really worked out quite well. I've gone for the Terra Variant 650 on this one, which is a higher horsepower too. The small one, you can have narrows. The large one, you can't. You have wides on that, which again, I'm pretty sure the previous version of this had narrow twins, I think. But again, that could have been a mod. I seem to recall narrow twins for some reason, but it is very very nice so we'll have a look first of all under our vehicles and slurry tanks is the first one we're going to look at so the terra variant 435 um it's 18 slots 324 grand slot count will come down to one 16,000 litre capacity tank we've got michelin trelleborg continental mitis bkt radestein and back again um under the michelin we've got standards or narrows Trelleborg, we've got no other options other than that. Continental, no other options. Midas, standard or narrows. BKT, standard or narrows. And then Vredestein, no options. Uh, main colour on the tank, you can have it as grey or you can have the Zunhammer yellow. And then there's licence plate option on that too. Those are the only options on that one. Let's hop in, start it up. Now you can have toggle the steering mode on this. You can have all wheel steer, front wheel steer. Crab steer left, crab steer right. If we go for those, um, beacons, lights, all very nice. Uh, we do also have the option if you want to go for a bit more of an immersive feel with the pipe L1 and right stick side to side, and then up and down as well, so you can kind of simulate it, it getting slurry from wherever your collection was. Uh, the beacon on the back is a smaller sort of stub one. It's not a um, like a flashing unit, it's still a regular beacon. 
And then on the back we've got three point links, so you do have to hook up to something else in this case. I go for uh, the, sh the shooting spider, but it, it would require something else on the back. As you can see, hose attaches. It sounds amazing. Interior. I mean, the visibility is phenomenal. It sounds great here as well. So, that's the uh, 435. The 585 is here. That you'll find under vehicles and miscellaneous. 387,000. Why can't I speak? 387,500. Uh, slot count on that is 17. That'll come down to one, as you can see. We have got options of Michelin, Trelleborg, Continental, Midas, BKT, Vredestein. Back in under Michelin, standards and wise. That says no narrow options on this. On the ones that does have a tyre option change, it's just the wide. Uh, not all of them have them. But those that do, it's a standard or wide. Then you've got the 585 horsepower or the 652 horsepower. But that adds 33,500 on bringing the price up to 424,000, um, but 652 horsepower, it's a bit of a beast. Those are your options that, as well as the license plate, if you want a license plate option. Now, behind that, and I'm gonna look at all these, talk about all these very quickly, we have got the uh, the Zunhammer TV 585. This is the same as that one. It's got, that is crazy lag. Um, that tank, but this is a 21,000 litre tank. Um, and we also, in this pack, it comes with the Zunhammer Glide Fix 15. That one is five slots. That one is six slots. That's a 15 Glide Fix 15. This is a 15 meter drag hose. So the slurry digest tape will go out to 15 meters. Come down those drag on the ground. Uh, we have then got the Holmer GB25, four slots, 25,000 liter. That is an auger wagon, so it works exactly the same as any other auger wagon, but it's an auger back attachment, 25,000 litre. So your regular crop type seat and fertiliser. Nice big old pipe on that as well uh, for overloading if you want to. Uh, then we've got the Holmer MB35, six slots. That's 35,000 litre. That will do potato and sugar beet, but it will also now do, I don't recall it doing before, maybe it did. It will do grass hay and chaff as well so it can overload those two if you're using it in a more forage capacity and then you've got the Annaberger xm3 this is 10 slots 17,400 liters uh, this is a muck spreader and it um, spreads out to 18 meters so all of these backs will go on the 585 uh, you will find those under tools uh, slurry tanks for the first two 44 grand for the tv 585 tank like i said 21,000 liters we can change the main color gray or yellow the glide fix 49,500 15 meters wide no options available just like that uh we then go up to auger wagons the gb25 is 65 grand like i said regular auger wagon those crop types seat and fertilizer license plate but no other options the helmet mb35 35,000 liters as I said, chaff, sugar beet, potato, uh, grass and hay. No options available on that. And then finally, under uh, manure spreaders, which is that one. The Annaberger XM3, 34 grand, 18 meter spread width, 17,400 litres. Licence plate option, but no other options on that. We'll start this up. Oh, I feel like I'm having some kind of mild epileptic fits it's terrible for your eyes oops <laughs> big enough gap there you think i would have been out against that so that's the tank on the back 21,000 liters the glide fix can go on the back now again this comes with the glide fix but you don't have to have a glide fix any of the slurry attachments that are three point link will go on the back it doesn't have to be the glide fix but because the glide fix comes with it
This also has the option, if we go to that one, L1 and right stick side to side, we can move the pipe, same as the other one does, again for a bit of realism if we go for that. If we go to that and unfold, it will open up to 15 metres and we can run as we would do normally. We do have the option on this one as well to change our steering, same as the other one, all wheel st steer, can't speak, front wheel steer, crab left. Now with this as well, the same as the other one, if you've got a back on it, when you do the crab steer, it does keep your attachment heading straight by adjusting the angle of it. So the crab steer the other way, moves the whole thing the other way, so if you do that way it will still keep your implement running in the right direction. Otherwise you would lose width um, if it twisted to, an angle, uh, to the side. And then turn it on, drop it down, it will spread slurry like any other piece of slurry equipment. Both of those do have the option, if you do go for this, of having um, double application rate. So you can activate the double application rate if you want to have it on there. You are better off as you just saw there in as well putting it back into normal steering mode or all-wheel steer uh, when you fold it back up again otherwise it folds back up at an angle and it doesn't look particularly great i'm not going to show it spreading you know spreading slurry and spreading digestate having the back out because at the end of the day depending on what back you've got on it and you can put various different backs on will affect how it looks and what it does but as you can see that's what those do uh, swing around onto that. So I recall it being a lot cheaper as well. I think on FS17, I'm sure it was 17. Um, I bought this quite a lot instead of a regular tractor because it was cheaper and it had very high horsepower. I don't know if that had been a mistake originally or not, but uh, pipe in. So as an auger wagon, as with any other auger wagon, you get to wherever you're going and when you need to unload it pipe out. It does say top left there unfold to Terra variant. Uh, if we unfold it puts those wheels down at the back which supports the whole thing. It does slow it all down a little bit um, but you know, the pipe's there and then under that right stick side to side we can adjust the head of the pipe in or out. There's no up or down on this one that's just that's it for that as an auger pipe, an auger wagon the other one for intent, all intents and purposes is a, it's another org wagon but it's just specific to certain other crops and a 10,000 litre larger capacity. I always found it was one of those things, oh, so I remember using it, I can't remember which, which ver version it was on. Um, if I put the pipe in, I don't think it allow me to fold it with all the stuff in it. Fold org wagon? No, because I've still got stuff in it. Um, but the problem was the harvester I was using was a 45,000 litre harvester. This only held 30,000 litres. So when the harvester was full, you would fill this up completely. You have to go and unload it and come back or let the harvester carry on again for a bit. But yeah, it just it would, again, it would be cool to have a 45,000 litre hopper of these. So you could do a direct unload from the harvester, fill up one of these and off you go again. But again, it's, it's, it's real world. This is how it is in the real world. Um, I think we have some adjustment on this when the pipe's out. L1, there we go. Pipe up and down, and we can adjust, curl the top in as well. Unload. Wherever it may be that you are unloading. Just like that. And then finally, we've got the muck spreader back. It's nice to see these back again. It's a little bit staggering though, the 135.39 megabyte down, but I guess, you know, I think one of the versions it was a DLC, wasn't it? Or was it both been a DLC? Oh, I'm, so, I'm sorry. So, it looks great in all the configurations, I'd say. It looks fantastic. Beacons, unfold the back, same as you do with other muck spreaders. I don't know why I decided to show you this one, I haven't shown the other ones, but... We can activate double application rate on this as well, being a muck spreader. Turn on the muck spreader. And away we go. Awesome bits of kit. Awesome. And that's it for the mods for today, Monday the 4th of April. Um, like I say, I'm, I, I didn't have any problems at all with lag or frame rate drop until 
It was until I got to these last ones, I was fine with everything else. It was when I bought these and drove them out from the um, yard that I started getting problems. So potentially it's the Holmer pack that may be causing it, but that's quite bad. Um, I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do. Thanks for watching.